Hello IGN, my name is Jose Otero and I am here with Caleb Lawson. Hello! And we are here to talk a little bit about The Wonderful 101, which made the cut of our 125 sort of best Nintendo games. Uh, we've been doing Let's Plays for a bunch of Nintendo games to celebrate their 125th anniversary. And we felt that special mentions should go to The Wonderful 101 for a bunch of very valid reasons. Yeah, it's a newer game, um, obviously, but I think it really embodies a lot of what makes Nintendo games great. Yes. So this was developed by Platinum Games, which uh, isn't an in-house Nintendo developer, but this was made for Nintendo. And, and published by Nintendo. And published by Nintendo as well. And uh, the angle here is sort of uh, the Power Ranger style heroes, essentially, except there are a hundred of them, a hundred and one of them, in fact. Um, and so it's a really unique action game in, in a lot of respects. And this is coming from a team that makes great action games in Platinum. Yeah, it's surprising when this game came out is I think a lot of people sort of mistook it for something like Pikmin, you know, where you actually are kind of more worried about the destiny of each one of these individual creatures and having to take care of them. Mm -hmm. But it's not like that at all. It actually plays much more like a sty stylish action game like uh, Bayonetta or Death May Cry. Yeah, and uh, so the, the hook being, though, I mean, you're controlling sort of a mob of people at once, but you're also creating sort of the weapons that you use, and that's sort of its unique mechanic, is that you're basically using a, a, an input system based around drawing to summon the next weapon you want to use. And once you summon that weapon, you in fact have combinations and different sort of ways that you can then take about attacking. Which so I'll is really try dope. to show all this off the best best I can. But uh, game came about uh, came out about a year ago, and I haven't played since then. So apologies in advance if ah uh, uh, you're doing fine. <laughs> I mean, you just dropped the time bomb to slow everything down. I love to also just worth pointing out, Platinum is really good at uh, sort of. Figuring out action games, but also using slow motion to the best of its degree. Um, I feel like in each one of their games, they sort of find a unique new take on it. You know, whether it be sort of using a time bomb here, or even when he's drawing sort of the different Wonderful 101 shapes, you see sort of a slight impact on time as he's trying to prep and get ready for the next uh, attack. You notice as I'm running around the field here, I'm trying to pick up the guys that I lose each time I get hit, because the more people in your party, the stronger your powers are. Yep. Um, it allows you to kind of make bigger powers with your drawings. So if you just draw a little sword like that, you get a little sword, right? But if I draw a big sword, wait, wait, I need to actually get some more power left up before I do that. Yeah, the, the battery meter is kind of how they curtail and keep you within limits, right? Because if not, you would just steamroll everything. Um, so they do the kind of sword, make you yeah. very, yeah, there you go. They do kind of make you conscious of how many resources you have. And it's kind of painful when you pull off an attack that you lose your men. Like you see, you know, a, a, a crew of people kind of fall to the side, and not only are you slightly weaker because now you can't draw a shape as large, but you want to hurry and pick them up so that you can counterattack. And this thing has like counters, and it has like a very complex combo system. Some of the most that I'm not showing off at all right now. <laughs> it's okay, um, but but it, it is super hardcore in terms of its depth, and that's something that I think uh, kind of merits why. It's one of the major reasons why it's here and why we thought it was an important game to highlight as part of this. The story is also really fun and not afraid not afraid to sort of make fun of itself, which is really great. Um, yeah, so as it's you got see, a fantastic sense of humor. Caleb is just carving it up right now. As Is that Wonder White? Uh, yeah, with the yeah. claws. Yes. And the Wonder Black is the time bomb. Wonder Green is the pistol. Wonder Pink uses the whips. And Wonder Red is, of course, the large glove that you know and love and also one of the more prominent characters in the story. And you know, I should be able to block some of these attacks too, um, which I'm not doing. That's sort of the block. You turn into a big pudding. Yep, yep. And sort of timing that really helps with your counter game, essentially. Ooh, watch out. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I especially like when they have you fight sort of the oversized. Not bad. You got two Platinums for time and for combo. I think that's worth, you know, saying you did right. Got the crap kicked out of me, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do love, too, the, the way they kind of play up the oversized enemies because there are certain points in this game where you reach where you're just fighting things that are so much bigger than you. And it is sort of that Pikmin scale difference, but uh, you are so much more equipped than a Pikmin to deal with it. I feel not to say Pikmin aren't equipped for that. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, overall the action reads a lot easier. Yeah, I think that's also kind of one of the hallmarks of stylish action games and what Platinum has been doing, right? It's, I mean, scale is a huge thing for them. Um, if you look at any of their games, there are just giant boss enemies. And, mm -hmm. um, this game is no exception. I mean, some of the boss sequences in this game go on for 
ultimately several hours. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. Giant epic bosses. Yeah, absolutely. And they're they're definitely not. Um, I, I, I do love that, like, another sort of common theme in, in their games, and it's something that probably Nintendo really enjoyed, is just the notion that uh, size doesn't matter, and that even as a tiny team of heroes, you know, everything in this world needs to be afraid of you, and in fact should be for very good reasons. Well, yeah, because you're the wonderful 101. Yeah. No, and it's a theme through, through a lot of their games, right? Like, uh, you know, to some extent, Bayonetta is why you should not underestimate women. Uh, Devil May Cry is why you should not underestimate the lonely dude in the haunted mansion, right? Like you see, like a common theme. Even the beautiful Joe is another one, uh, another great. Uh, the power of outcasts. Yeah, 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 maybe. I don't know. I, I sort of, as I think about it now, I feel like there is something to that. Wow, nice combo. Yeah, a lot of work. Hey, it's okay. For the purpose of the last play, playing some other action games recently. That's what that's what happens. You, it's it's kind of like a uh, training, you know, for for a certain sport. Uh, it's been a while. You so. re relearn everything. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think you're doing enough justice. And also, if you're not noticing, the heroes themselves are independent. Caleb can kind of send them off in different directions to beat up on things while he readies his next attack. So if you see, if you notice, uh, so one of those heroes kind of punching another one, uh, punching those enemies in the head on the side. At times, there's a lot happening, so it could, it could almost be disorienting, but once you learn how to sort of read what's happening, you really do kind of uh, take over. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Is there another guy in here? Let me take him out. Oh, there he goes. Up. Yeah. Yeah, there, <laughs> you have this one guy. Giant you not, sword. You did not need a sword that big. It was more fun that way. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, the Wonderful 101, part of our Let's Play series for 125 Nintendo games, celebrating, in fact, 125 years of that company being around. And for more Nintendo Let's Plays, make sure you keep it right here at IGN. <laughs>